Hello everyone, this is The Lover, and I am here to give my review of Backlash 2023. Now, for those of you that don't know The Lover, The Lover is a true wrestling fan. He is a smart wrestling fan, and he did not enjoy this at all. First of all, The Lover's personal hero, Bianca Belair, came out and wrestled his other personal hero, Io Sky. This match was not that good, though, because the fans in Puerto Rico, they really just don't get it, you know? They just don't understand. They're not smart fans, you know? They were, first of all, they were chanting in Spanish. That's weird. And then after that, they were chanting for Io Sky. Don't they know that Bianca Belair is the bigger star? That's what me and all my smart friends think. Then after that, we had a 10-star match between Seth freaking Rollins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He is my hero. And against the goofy Omas, Seth Rollins really showed why he has great work rate and why he's so much better than Omas because he beat him using the best wrestling move of all time. Even though it's not even a real wrestling move. <laughs> That's what people like the hater might say. But it's a great finisher and I really love this. Afterwards, Bronson Reed... Thank God the Triple H for signing Bronson Reed again. He really showed why he's the future of the WWE. Ha, Austin Theory won, but who likes him? He's just another Cena ripoff. Then Rhea Ripley, who's the best wrestler of all time, beat Zelina Vega, who is very underrated, you know? The crowd appreciated her a lot, but that's because they were in Puerto Rico. Meanwhile, I've been appreciating her since the first day. Then Bad Bunny... Oh, let me talk about that last, okay? Because I have a lot to say about Bad Bunny. The Bloodline put on a clinic against the greatest tag team of all time. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Go, Sami, go. Matt Riddle was there too. This was a great match. The hater really loved it. But then the hater's hero. The hater's real hero. The, the guy from the best company of all time, AW, Cody Rhodes, came out there and he conquered the beast. He slayed Brock Lesnar. He made Brock Lesnar look at the part-timer that he is. Cody should have won. I can't believe that they had Roman Reigns beat Cody Rhodes. I don't like it. But I really need to talk about this, guys. I now need to talk about Bad Bunny. Okay? Bad Bunny really ruined everything. Bad Bunny is really exposing the business. All right? Bad Bunny is not one of the boys. And because he's not one of the boys, Bad Bunny should not even be on this pay-per-view. Bad Bunny should have to earn his dues. You know, a lot of people think that earning your dues is extremely important. And these people are all really cool. You have to earn your dues. Okay, Bad Bunny, you have to earn your dues. You have to go to the independents. You know, why don't you start out in New Jersey Pro Wrestling and go wrestle there first if you want to be part of our sport, Bad Bunny. Damien Priest, on the other hand, carried this man. He carried this man. Damien Priest has earned his stripes. Then Carlito came out, but who cares about him? This guy was from the Rufus Aggression era, and everybody knows that was the downfall of wrestling. Wrestling is the best it's been now because of people like Damien Priest. And Rey Mysterio? I mean, retire already, am I right, guys? But anyways, Bad Bunny has exposed the business because if he can beat Damien Priest, then what does that say about wrestling? It says that wrestling is fake, right? And wrestling is real, damn it. It's real. This has been The Lover, and I'll see you fuckers soon.